Every new beginning comes from some other beginning zen. I have to say goodbye to you now, but always keep in mind that we will meet again soon. You will always be in my heart. My heart refuses to say goodbye, but I guess this is how it must be. I always cherish our memories together. I must bid you farewell to see you again, my dears. We may not meet every day. but you will always be in my thoughts mr mubarak khan and our dog sister king and sister pair she will soon uh, accompany us and sister suda sister angel sister susan icn and all quality members sister brother hasina our all supervisors and our superhero dr jaman <laughs> and all the things and also our star of the day day our gc and അവിടെ The only thing what I can say for both of them that uh, good luck and uh, I wish you all the best in your next uh, stay in your life and uh, we we gonna miss you so much. You were both of you were great stuff. Nice to you. You save our patient, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and uh, good luck again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I welcome Sister Jisha for sharing their experience with our lovers. Now we are going to everybody. Uh everybody everybody knows why we are here now. Uh thank you for all uh come for this occasion. uh this our dear students and daily everybody knows uh according to staff and uh, we everybody knows this icu for running on like a uh, family so uh, our all uh, family uh, shares and uh, this official shares and personal uh, any matter we are sharing in icu because everybody knows uh, this we are all are leaving our family in india so we are suffering too much fear uh, mentally we are very suffering here because of our family is there that is why right. so our uh, mainly our uh, share is uh, we can relieve our own many tensions so uh, last 15 years i work with the jinsi so i know her she is very efficient staff and uh, mainly i am remembering her because instead of our biomedical is sometimes absent from biomedical <laughs> she is <laughs> making out all uh, instruments and all machines uh, something for at least our shift can be running with uh, some technology so uh, jc i am uh, praying for you and uh, uh, good luck for you and your family and your future also you are so many plans i know so your all dreams will be fulfilled for this year and uh, tenny i know last three years she was here and she is also very efficient staff and uh, she can uh, she is so many things share with me so i know her very well according to her family and her personal life also and she is very dedicated staff and uh, very sincere staff in icu so best of luck and now she is going for her uh, family life she want to uh, stay with her husband so <laughs> all uh, all the best wishes for both of you god bless you thank you thank you so much for this program now uh, i would like to uh, call mr yeah. we are the perfect guest ma'am thank you everyone Uh, first of all thank you saudi arabian government because i i have got to see saudi arabian government i love the saudi arabia because i could respect my family because of saudi arabian government because who gave so because i could raise my family my family and my husband family everybody i can could raise i could raise 
then thanks to all I sister who we, uh, we became as the same family. Before you know, uh, there was no doctor. We are the one managed. Uh, now for uh, just five years only doctors came. We are the one innovating, we are the one in the, from Dr. Ramsan. Dr. Ramsan is the one given advice to us. Uh, wow. Thanks to Dr. Ramsan. He, he was the one given the confidence to me because for uh, uh, one day I went uh, over, he uh, one helped me to intubate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he taught me a lot of things. A, B, G, how to read. So many things he, uh, he taught me. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramsan. Dr. Uh, uh, he, one day he uh, came my uh, uh, outside room. room. You don't, I don't know you remember or not. <laughs> <laughs> With your wife and kids in, uh, came in my home in our yeah, Thank you so much, Dr. Wadi. Uh, Hasina, thank you so much. All of my IC staff, uh, they, uh, our old staff, uh, they are all uh, suffered a lot because before there was no central OP and the central oxygen, uh, central uh, air. We had the one big oxygen cylinder uh, rolling and tanking ventilator before in all the hospital. Uh, big thanks to our old staff. They are, they are sacrificed a lot. After that, Dr. Uh, Dr. Jamal and Dr. Hakim gave maybe they got sent down. We are starting our morning at 2 a.m. or 6 a.m. morning here, we will not finish because all camera is out because of ACL, potassium. Now there, there is center line, we have, not, we have no afraid of about the center line because uh, there is there was there is no any complaint because the camera is there is so many complaint no? because it's ACL transfusion. Uh, I think this board is arranged for them. <laughs> uh, also, Dr. Nasim. Always, I I, I told them for him also, Dr. Nasim. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, if uh, any intentionally or unintentionally, if you take a thing, please forgive me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, Jinsi, I am working with, I think she is the most um, senior there among the nurses who work with me. Before Dr. Jamal or I see Dr. Singh, we are the person looking out at the patients and intubation and ventilator. I know that Jinsi acts, this is one of the nurses uh, uh, who learned by herself. She saved many lives during my duties, and I know very well, once she said, somebody told me, why you intubate the patient? It is not like that. And if something goes wrong, everybody will not say good to you, but everybody blame you. And I told her that day, I know she knows this word, that do as you like and put my name. You are saving the life, you are not killing the patient. So why I came, especially I have two cases there, so I thank you very much if she came. Because I know that this girl is the one of the best sister which I saw. Very, very nice, working, never fight with any doctors, especially with me. Whatever you say, she will follow. Whole night she will manage the case, next day morning I will in the house. Because it was very difficult to one doctor come at night two, three times. So this is the one of our staff which learned intubation confidently, including my two OR sister, sister Reshmi and Johnson. Okay, she is the one of them I see. That's why I always look at my staff, my senior, my brother, Obarak, that at least give me some staff which working in the Saudi Arabia. Belonging to from your body, the wasser, make them train there to save the life or intubation. This is the one of the girls now we lose because she will go due to her own personal issue. God bless you. My best wishes for you and your family. And my sister Kelly, I have more good interaction with her because <laughs> since she came, we are out of ISIS. <laughs> I met her face and I said thank you very much. God bless you. Have a nice your family relation. 
board and have a police children and come <laughs> here, you are, I will want to see your children. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you very much once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jag vill inte ha att säga till och med på samma sätt. Sista Jens är inte sista. Så sista Jens är inte så många år. Du måste ha två vilsen. Jag hoppas för dig och alla happiness and successful in your life. You are one of the best nurses I I want to be. As Dr. Ramzan said, you are before we came to ICU, you are the uh, one who is taking care for critical young patient, intubating, dealing those multiple situations. But inshallah, I hope for you that this burden will go away from you. Yeah. I hope for you uh, happiness in New Zealand, inshallah. And for Kenny, the way. And we share with you so much. Thank you. Hello for the first time and goodbye for the last time. So I would welcome Tenny to say few words. <laughs> Good afternoon, all of you here. I don't know, I'm not prepared. I don't know what to say. Some kind of feeling I have. I don't know how to express. Even I have already experienced three and a half years, near to four years of Saudi Arabia. But right now I am feeling that I am going like my family somewhere. I don't know what to say. And first of all, I thank Mubarak sir. When I came, it was a difficult situation. First I bought chicken box. I don't know anyone of in Saudi Arabia. I just remember the face of us, the staff, but I am just a baby. But I got a help in hostel, in hospital also. They arranged me everything without knowing a person. Who can help and who can arrange everything is a great thing. They, no one knows about me, only they know Tenny, she has something problem. And in hostel, <laughs> I welcome Sister Kim and Haya for giving gift to Tenny. <laughs> Each one of you has given me tremendous memories and together we have cherished base of the moment of our life. But how sad it is for me that I happen to witness his incredible moment on the day when I am to bid you all a goodbye. Yes, it's time for me to say goodbye to KZ and unfortunately to you all as well. Time passed slowly. A special and different relationship was attached to this place. If there is any place after my family where I have spent most of my time, then this is that place. This is my second home. Today, this is my last day. Tomorrow, we will not be able to meet and I would like to thank all the people who worked so hard to make my day special. I will never forget these days spent with you all in my life. I wish you all a very happy future.